Namaskar Sadhguru. The period of youth is defined by challenges, goals, achievements and ambitions. Many chase success as defined by others. In this hyper-connected, information-saturated era, there is the added stress of information overload and work-related burnout. Such stress takes away the happiness of our youngsters. We see more and more cases of depression amongst youth. How can the youth, in such challenging times, continually be happy? I want to know the truth about youth and happiness. Namaskaram Raj and uh, <laughs> See, in every generation, there is a set of people who are always complaining about something. And of course, there are people who are making use of the situations of their times. As a generation today, we have more conveniences, comforts, and uh, we are able to know whatever we wish to know. People who are complaining about information overload, they must uh, visualize and see that a thousand years ago, you wouldn't know what's happening hundred kilometers away. If even there was a great calamity or something fantastic happened hundred kilometers away, it would take a month or two months for you to get the information. Today, anywhere in the world, whatever is happening comes to you quickly. And are you complaining about it <laughs> Please do not complain about it because this is one of the greatest privileges that we have as a generation, that technologically we are empowered like never before. Never before another humanity had the capabilities that we have simply because of technological empowerment. It is just that you have not prepared yourself for the life that you need to handle in the sense, right now you're complaining about technology which has made your life easy and comfortable <laughs> I want you to just imagine a thousand years ago, if you lived here, uh, in the morning when you wake up, you need water for your use, you will have to walk down to the river and carry two buckets fulls of water. Believe me, most of the youth today are not even fit enough to carry two buckets of water for a mile. Physically, they're just not capable of doing it. So, if you were here a thousand years ago without technology, would you carry these bucketfuls of water without complaint? No, you would complain because you are physically not capable. Similarly, if you have not made yourself mentally capable of handling various realities of today, then you complain. So what the youth needs to understand is, the early part of their life, the most important thing is not your ambitions, not your desires to be fulfilled, not the lifestyles that you aspire for, the only thing that you should be concerned about is how to enhance this life to a higher level of possibility. If you do invest enough time in the inner development of who you are, handling the present situations will be effortless. And above all, you will not be complaining about the greatest gifts that have been offered to you in this generation. Never before you could fly from India to United States in fourteen hours' time, never before you could pick up your phone and talk to somebody in any part of the world, never before you could see a million things happening all over the world and even in the outer space, you can see what's happening. Please do not complain about these great gifts that you have, you have to equip yourself. Equipping yourself means there are technologies for inner well-being. What we're transmitting as inner engineering is just this, that you engineer yourself in such a way that you're fit for life. Instead of making yourself fit for life, you're asking life around you to change for your level of unfitness. Please don't do this. Right now, the world is not moving any faster than what it was a few thousand years ago. The world is still spinning at the same time. It is just that we feel that the distances have been reduced simply because of technological prowess that we have. This is the most fantastic thing that's happened to human beings is we are so technologically empowered. We can see beyond our normal vision, you can hear beyond your normal sense of hearing, you can experience things beyond your normal sense of experience. It's just that you have to upgrade yourself. The technology around you 
is phenomenally upgrading itself every few months or years, it's time you upgrade yourself. Upgradation of this technology, upgradation of who you are, enhancement of this life needs to happen. This is what in engineering or yoga means, that you focus on enhancing this life. Without enhancing this life, if you enhance your activity, of course you suffer the activity. It is like taking an old uh, <laughs> junky car on a F1 track, it'll fall apart. That's all that's happening to people. It's time that instead of just educating our children, just to make a living, just to find a job, just to get into this one or that one, we have to educate our children to first of all enhance themselves. Tools for self-transformation are the most important requirement of this age because external situations are going to be largely handled by machines. It's very important you are little smarter than the machines that you handle.